In the last video, we were able to add functionality to, functionality to our quiz page. So, if we go over to our quiz components, I can answer a question, and this is wrong. Who wrote Julius Caesar, Macbeth, and Hamlet? And the answer is William Shakespeare. This is correct. And our questions are changing with their options. I'll just answer this one randomly, and it changes. Now, which animal is which is the only mammal that can that can't jump? And the correct answer is not dog, it's not the goat, it's not the lion, but it's the elephant. So, this is what we were able to do in the previous video. But the goal of this video is to add sounds to our application. Now, to do that, over in my text editor, in the source folder, in the source directory, in the assets, I've added an audio folder that contains three sounds, three mp3 files. So, one for the correct answer one when the user answers it answers wrongly and the third one when these buttons down here the previous quit or the previous next or quit buttons are clicked so let me just play those but those sounds so you know what they sound like so over in my application directory that's on my desktop in the source folder in the assets in audio so this is the sound we expect to hear when the user answers correctly this correct answer mp3 file here so let me just play that so that's the sound when user answers correctly it should play this sound and when he answers wrong we expect to hear this one play and then this is the button sound for those three buttons at the bottom of our page so this one the little click sound now let's do that so I've added these three files to my application. The first thing we need to do is to bring them into our application. So up here, I'll import the one for the correct answer. So this will be called correct notification. Or you can call these um, files whatever you want while importing them. Now I'll import that from dot dot slash to go up out of the quiz folder because we are currently in the play component which is in the quiz folder and then we we'll also go up one more directory to take us out of the components folder so another dot dot slash and then into the assets folder into audio and we want correct what did I name that file correct answer dot mp3 correct answer dot mp3 now that brings in this audio file for us. I'll just duplicate this line twice and bring in the remaining two. Now this will be wrong notification, wrong notification and the file name is wrong answer, wrong answer. Now I've left a link to where you can download these files and use in your own application. And also for the button sound, this will be button sound small o there and the file name is also button dash sound now at the top of my components at the top of my my render or my return just below the below helmet here i'll use another fragment it's in this fragment i'll keep my audio files so let's create an audio tag, audio, now the audio tag takes a source attribute to the mp3 file or the audio file you want to play, so the source is going to be correct notification. Now by default, if I reload my page, we don't see our audio player here, so to add that, we'll just pass in the controls attributes setting it to true so this sets the controls attri attributes to true so if i reload now see we have a nice audio player here at the top and we can always click play to play the sound so i'll click that one more time but i don't want this displaying on the page for the user i don't want the user to have direct access to this media player so what i'll do is simply take away this controls attributes simple now I'll do that for the other two sounds. So I'll just duplicate this one. 
this will be wrong notification and this will be button sound I'll pass them each an ID also this will take correct sound and the wrong one will be wrong sound and the button sound will take the ID of button sound so over in my correct answer function when the user clicks or I'll do that up in my event handler for the button click for the option click so when the user clicks a right answer I want to play that button sound so I can simply say document dot get element by ID and the ID of the element I want to get is the correct answer and I want to call the play function on it so dot play now this should play the correct audio sound when the user answers correctly and I'll just copy this one down and do the same for the wrong answer so up here just paste that and this will be wrong answer so let's go and try it out um, 50 degrees Celsius is the wrong option for what temperature what temperature does water boil at so I'll just click that and nothing happens we have an error cannot treat property playoff no so I'll just open my console here and then go back to my file document don't get element by ID wrong answer why is that so wrong sound okay wrong sound is the is the idea I gave it not wrong answer so I'll just change it to wrong sound up here so this will be wrong sound and this will be correct sound my ID is well matching there now let's try again 50 degrees Celsius that's wrong who wrote Julius Caesar Macbeth and Hamlet and that's William Shakespeare it's correct now I'm going to click two answers two correct answers from two different questions just quickly so what did the crocodile swallow in Peter Pan he swallowed the book wow I'm wrong which is the only mammal that can't jump it's the elephant I'm correct and this is Sherlock Holmes now if you notice the sound did not play there and that's because my correct sound mp3 file is about three seconds long so if the file if the sound doesn't finish playing before you answer correctly it doesn't play the next one because that file that audio file is still playing so calling the play method on it just doesn't do anything now i've tried to shorten that file but when i do so i just lose my sound entirely so my fix here will be to cause a cause half a second delay before playing the sound after the user clicks the button so that should give us enough time for the previous one to finish playing if it were playing now to do that i'll simply call the set timeout method set timeout now this set timeout method takes two parameters or two arguments the first argument is a callback function and this callback function executes what we want to happen or the code we want to run and then the second argument is the delay and I want it to delay by 500 milliseconds which is equal to half a second so in my callback I'll just cut this call to the play method and paste it in there and do the same for the wrong answer so this will be set timeout a callback function and the half a second delay which is 500 milliseconds now I'll just cut this one too over into the set timeout call. Now that should fix it. So let's re reload and play. What temperature does water boil at? It boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And William Shakespeare wrote this. And it's an alarm clock. The elephant can jump. Now, who lived at 221B Baker Street, London? The answer is Sherlock Holmes. 
so our quiz is working very very nice at the moment but there are still things or a few things we need to fix and i forgot let's check our button sounds also we haven't added the button sounds here so let's add the sounds to our buttons now that's easy i'll add an a method for clicking the button for handling the button click so this method will call it handle button click and i'll just put that method below the handle option click so this will be called handle button click and the handle button click will simply call for now a method which will also define and this will be called play button sound i'll just put that below here play button sound and the play button sound will simply just play our audio so this will be documents dot get elements by id and the id we want is button sound for this audio button audio tag here or element i want to call the play method on that and that's it for the play button sound so for now when we click our play button we just want to call this method which will in turn play this sound so play this dot play button sound it's the method name now let's wire up the function to be called when the button is clicked so i'll just copy this function name because i'm lazy and then on this our uh, three buttons here the previous the next and the quit buttons i'll just add that same on click event handler i'm going to be using triple cursors here and to do that just hold down the alt key and click wherever you want the cursor to also appear so here now on click it's going to be a call to this dot and then i'll paste in the method i just copied paste not handle button click yeah handle button click and also paste here so when we click these buttons now we expect to hear those sounds very good now they are playing now one more thing i want to do before we wrap up the video is to at the moment if i answer a question even though it changes our number of questions one of 15 doesn't get updated now to fix that is simple over in where do we write that here i'm simply going to pass a reference to this figure here to our state on our state we have a current question index where's that this and number of questions so they are all being stored in our state now let's do that but before i do it let me quickly inspect my state and be sure that the values are correctly set there so over in the play component on our state we have number of questions to be zero so let me quickly fix the number of questions state there over in my component did mount i will simply call Mm, how do i do this let me see over in my display questions method i'll simply set the number of questions from here now so number of questions i'll just do that from the set state call here so just below here number of questions not answered questions but number of questions is going to be the length of the questions array so that's easy we can just pass in questions dot length and that should set the number of questions value for us let's quickly inspect our state and be sure it's correct now down here number of questions very good it's now 15 so that's getting stored properly and our current question index is zero because we are fetching our questions from an array and our current question index is zero because this question is the first question in our array now let's just pass those values to our render method so up here 
1 of 15 is gotten from the current question index so this will be current question index now the current question index is always one less than the actual question that is so add one here so whatever the index is we're adding one and i'm going to bring in this current in the current question index into our render by just copying and pasting that value here so we're getting the current question index from our states up here on line 112 and using it here and our, our 15 also now will become dynamic so this will be number of questions number of questions so let's also bring that here number of questions so if i did everything right we shouldn't have any errors or issues our application should still be working but this time with improvements let me reload it what temperature does water boil at water boils at 100 degrees celsius and this has changed we now have 2 of 15 and william shakespeare wrote julius caesar mark Pet and hamlet we're at question 3 and this was an alarm clock now which is the only mammal that can't jump it's not the dog it's not the goat it's the elephant and who lived at 221 b baker street london it's not tony stark not sherlock holmes not morgan freeman it's sherlock holmes so what color is the panda the panda is not green and yellow the panda is not is green and white we also have black and white the panda is not green and white the panda is not blue and red the panda is black and white so thanks for staying with me leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are on this video and thanks for one more time for staying with me